now they're giving uh, timelines. Yeah. Exactly. Time and, and and this is, you know, this is why we have these conversations and, and we talk about these things. And and like we said, he also just mentioned dynasty over three islands. Right now we can debate as to how or why they came to that conclusion. But let's let's just I mean, I have been scouring the Internet for studies. I can tell mm. you right now, I can find a ton of studies on Hong and ruins and dating and radar scanning and those dates. It's very difficult to find some of the studies that are done on the Tuimanua, right? This is why Grok, when we asked Grok, the Ooh, AI, AI. They're on the AI, and we said, Hey, Grok, can you search all the internet <laughs> and let me know which dynasty or which empire actually probably really existed? And even Grok admits. There is way more scientific data of the Tu'i Tonga existing as an empire than the Tu'i Manua because the Tu'i Manua is primarily only oral history. And even that oral history is contradicting because you can find certain oral history even within Samoa yeah. that's contradicting. This is why, yeah. like, like you said earlier, Masi, multiple data points gives clarity, right? Yeah. When, when it's just oral history and you're bouncing off of you and your buddies in a little corner, all of a sudden you can build up an empire that really didn't exist, in my opinion. Yeah. 